What's going on, everybody? This is Al from PlaybookGamer.com. And in the last Dynasty video, we took on Troy to finish the regular season. We had no real issues here. We had more talent than they did, and we're having a much better season than they are. So the outcome is about what I expected. And today, we will be playing our bowl game and look at all the end of the season stuff, which is always a lot of fun. But we got a couple weeks of simulation we need to take care of. I didn't want you to miss anything that may pop up. So we're going to simulate this bye week. And we're going to hurry this part up. And there we go. We are the Sunbelt champion. We knew that from a few uh, videos ago. We're going to ac accept that award. And then we got the conference championship week, which doesn't affect us. So we are going to simulate the week again. And... We're going to disable the frame limiter. Hurry this thing up. Now that I know the shortcut, I completely forgot about it. And your Heisman Trophy winner is Graham Harrell. That was expected. You look at his stats. 50 touchdowns, 4,000 yards. Just an incredible season. And the backup, or the second place winner, was his main wide receiver. The air raid is alive and well. You know, in my previous video, I showed you their playbook and how nasty it is. Just a great offense for all levels of football. So... Cool to see Texas Tech do their thing. I'm guessing they're going to be playing in the national championship game. We can find that out here shortly. And it looks like we're taking on Ohio. It didn't tell us. Usually it pops up and shows us who we're going to play in the bowl game and what bowl that is in. But we'll check that out here in a minute. But as you can see, Ohio, they're having a really good season. 9-4. and four. They got more talent than we do. And they run the ball extremely well. Now, I'm going to check the scouting report and according to this it says they run a balanced offense but they run the ball a little bit more than usual and they run a 4-3 defense honestly this is about the same we've been seeing all year except this team really wants to run the ball but just looking at their stats defensively they're just okay the rest of it is just whatever but this could be a decent challenge for us all right let's go to espn the magazine we finished up recruiting BCS rankings look like Arizona State and Notre Dame are going to be playing in the national championship game. Cool for Arizona State. Texas Tech didn't even make the top 10. Who knows where they're at? Uh, they're 15th. Somehow, now this is kind of weird. How do they finish 15th at 12 and 1? That's weird. I don't know how that's possible. I mean, there's a bunch of teams here that have done really well this year. Maybe it's their. Their schedule, they didn't play enough tough teams. I don't know, but there's a ton of teams with one or two losses. So I guess it can go either way, but it makes you wonder why they didn't get as far up as they should have. I mean, even Tennessee finished 10-2, and, and they're 16th in the BCS. So I guess schedule really matters big time in this game. I don't know. Either way, that's interesting. Uh, if you go, I'm going to look at the top 25 polls. And I, I guess this looks no different than the BCS ranking, so we can back out of that. We want to look at the Heisman winner. Let's look at the award winners. We didn't obviously win anything. We didn't even come close to the top three. Gross was six for the Walker. And the only other award we were really up for was the Coach Award, and we finished seventh for it. So we didn't win any awards this go-round. Let's check out the All-American list. First team, I wouldn't expect us to have anybody on first or second team. I thought Gross may have a chance. We can see if he's on the second team. Looks like he's not, just due to a lot of the touchdowns he had. You go to the freshman All-American. Oh, Javon Sneed. Javon Sneed. He was Javon Sneed. I, I'm, I'm sure I butchered that. Anyway, I think he's the one that went to Ole Miss. Didn't do well. I think he passed away a few years ago. I hope I'm dead wrong on that. For some reason, I think he... He, he passed away several years back. Either way, he was our freshman All-American quarterback. I figured we wouldn't have any freshmen here. We didn't have many freshmen that do much this season. You go to the Sun Belt, we should have a ton of players here. Quarterback and halfback, receiver, tight end, center. Nobody on the first team defense. You go to second team. And we got a defensive end, an outside linebacker, and a corner. And returner, Suber, even though I don't remember him doing any returning whatsoever. I don't remember one. He may have had one touchdown, maybe. 
I just don't remember much. But it's good to see he had a really good season. 600 yards, four touchdowns for him being a backup and being behind the top running back in the conference. He's going to be our stud next year. He may end up getting the impact status. Thankfully, with 07, that's when you can dictate who gets the impact status, which is really cool. I think that happens after the spring game, which we will cover here in a couple of videos. Bowl games. I want to see what actual bowl we're in. It didn't tell us. And it looks like we're in the Motor City Bowl. That's cool. Okay. They still have us as an at-large for whatever reason. I don't know where the uh, Sun Belt number one is supposed to go. I'm, it, I'm sure it's somewhere. Interesting enough. Let's go to conference standings and we can check out the team info screens. Here's us. We should have everybody back from suspension. We don't have anybody injured. Marks, he did hit the 3,000-yard mark. I do not remember in the last game whether they showed that to us or not. I don't think they show that mile marker. They just, maybe the uh, announcer, I think Lee Corso may say it or something, or Brad Nessler, I don't remember. Anyway, he's got 3,000 yards. Gross is having a great season, of course. Ingram at receiver. And Rainey is still doing his thing on defense. And Walden should be back today as well. Uh, let's see. We'll go to the Mac and go look at Ohio, who did win the conference championship there. They got a bunch of players out of safety, a receiver, a, a tackle. Is that for the year? Their quarterback is throwing a ton of interceptions, but look at their leading rusher 142 yards a game. That's really good. Looks like they got one guy leading both in tackles and in sacks, which is rare. Unless he's, I'm guessing he's a linebacker coming off the edge, maybe. And they beat Northern Illinois by three to win the conference championship. One thing I do want to look at before we get into the game, I want to look at the roster. This is something I should always be doing, and I forget, is to see the progress of our players throughout the season. Every three games or so, I should look and see who's done what. Like, for example, Craddock has went up a couple. That's good. So he'll, he's going to end up being our starter next year. If I had to imagine. And he's got a little bit of speed. And I might be able to use that next year. Anyway, this is what I was wanting to look at. And it's something I just forget. It looks like Gross is the only one that's went up much this year. At halfback. We got a bunch of players at wide receiver. You know, Williams is getting to the point where he could be our X receiver if he wanted to. And Bell. Tight end. Jacola has had a great season. Yet he's just not going up enough to uh, increase the overall. A bunch of offensive linemen are going up, which is cool. Left guard, right guard, or center. The right guards went up some. Like, this is another good example. Sap is worthy enough to take over that other spot. Even though he's, you know, he's a starter, it doesn't really matter if he's the left or the right defensive tackle. But still, little stuff like this can help you make better decisions in terms of your depth chart. Outside linebacker, here's another good example. It's like Clemens, I mean, he... He has, you know, uh, an excuse as to why he may need to be playing a whole lot more. But I don't have him, like, as you notice, he now has the exact same awareness as Brandon. It's little stuff like that. And that's my fault. I don't look at this more often. Uh, middle linebacker, our starting guy, went up plus four. He'll be back next year. Corner, Robinson could have went up a little bit more if he didn't miss, like, three games. We had a couple of safeties go up. Third string, strong safety went up. And that is it. I just wanted to look at that. And you go to our program standards. We have done a great job of getting that bar down. I want to get a little bit lower. But it looks like we'll probably put our discipline at probably 25% heading into the offseason. And at the beginning of the next video for our offseason, we will look and see who our starters are. And see how, how many seniors I'm losing on top of starters. Uh, I don't have to do that today. We can do that in the next video. All right. Let's take on Ohio. Of the Bobcats. I can do this, do it really quickly. And looks like we got somebody in trouble. And looks like it can happen. Uh which is good. Oh I mean I I don't think I've ever seen somebody get in trouble for the bowl game. It may have happened in the past and I just don't remember it. But looks like our starting fullback, uh, Birch, I guess that's what I'm going to call him, has skipped numerous team meetings and has no respect for team roles. He needs to be penalized severely for his actions. We'll just take him out for the game. That's all we can do. Like, we could do season or game, but still the same thing. 
at least that gets the bar down a little bit. I, that actually may not have changed if we'd have done it at none. No, we went down a... Well, it actually was lower. Now he got in trouble, so it went up. So now we got to do this. So we'll just do that. And, all right, let's get into it. We're 37th in the country. They are 33rd. I was going to do the uh, shortcut to speed it up, but it'll go right into the pregame. I don't want to miss that. I'll time it wrong. Just kind of looking at other things. Yeah, they just got a bunch of players that do the injury. I forgot we're playing in their big stadium indoor. Ford Field, I think is what it's called. Awesome looking stadium. Really cool. Yeah, Ford Field. So let's get set for the Middle Tennessee This should be a lot of fun. And the Ohio Bobcats. The Too bad they don't play good football in that stadium, but that's neither here nor there. They got a new coach, so you never know. He's a bit of a wildcat, but he's interesting. I forgot his name. And our uniforms look exactly like Detroit Lions uniforms. This guy's going to be, he is leading the country in yards. Wow, the leading rusher in the country we're going up against today. So I'm guessing they're just going to hand him the ball a ton. They're picking the Bobcats. Uh, I want the ball to start a second half. Let's check out their roster. Quarterback, he can't run. So whenever they do a throw, we can blitz him some. Everything goes through this guy right here. We'll try our best to shut him down. Now, this guy's going to break some tackles today. 74 on the strength. And his break tackle, I'm sure, is good. 90. Wow. And he's just a junior, so he'll be back next year. Unless he goes pro early. Uh, decent little fullback. A wide receiver. they got an impact guy here. So it makes you wonder how much they're going to throw because of that. they got a good tight end, but he can't do anything other than block, it appears. He's really slow. Starting left tackle is out for the year. Backup is not terrible. Uh, decent left guard, a center, right guard. So everybody is kind of the same at, on the offensive line. They do run a 4 3. Let's see, 82 and 82 on the ends. Defensive tackle, pretty good little group for the conference. 86, 89, a middle linebacker, 82 at right outside linebacker. So their front seven is pretty good for their conference. Everybody's just in the 80s, uh, 84, 82 at corners, 85 at free safety, and their starting strong safety is out and is back. And we may be able to exploit that today, possibly. 82 speed. This guy's only got 85 speed, so maybe we can attack their safeties a little bit today. Kicker, uh, 76, and a really terrible punter, which is pretty much the same guy doing both duties. I'm going to play a punter as well. Okay. Let's get this show on the road. Now, their impact, they got an impact guy on the ride. That's the receiver. We're going to go over here. There we go. Just kick it away from him. Just get a stop there. And we're going to do a lot of one high today. I'm just guessing they're going to run the ball a ton. One thing I want to do, I don't need to look at it. Let's go to settings. And I might have to change this later. I'm going to take the pre-play menu off. I'm getting pretty confident with what is what now. Going ace twins. Halfback draw. Nowhere to go. Those halfback draws are tough in this game. They're better under center. Terrible in the, from the gun. Uh... I'm going to still do a one high. I think they're going to run it some more. We'll do the under front. This time. Everson with three wide receivers. He's looking to pass. Going to pass. He lets it go. Uh-oh. He's into the open field. Just a good play by their tight end. He's the one that's really slow. But he no, he made the catch. We'll do an over front this time. Do crash gold. It's first and ten. Ball on the 46 yard line. The D line shifts over. 
Ooh, I don't like the look of that. We'll see what happens here. It's a good stop. We'll go back to 4-3 stack. I wish all the one highs were in here, but they only got one. They really didn't need to give you several different 4-3 looks when you can just adjust yourself like this. It's a good play by the receiver. So where are they at? They're on, it's third and three. We're going to go with a 46 bear look. We're going to go a strong safety fire. From the 47 yard line. Ball on the 47 yard line. I am. The Bobcat. Line up in an eye formation. And he got the first. Now they stuck with a run and it pays First and 10. So important on third down to rely on the offensive line to get a good push. And that's what they did there to pick up. We'll go back to a one high. This is going to be a short game. I think they're just going to run the, a ton of clock. Yeah, I want my one high safety right here. Ohio comes to the line. Only one Halfback draw again. Uh oh, here he goes. <laughs> Pick up nine yards there. So it looks like they're just going to hand him the ball all day. I didn't know if he was going to do anything funky in terms of run concepts, but it looks like they're not going to. The D line shifts over. They're keeping it pretty basic. Ah. I took a bad angle on that one. I went in instead of out. Let's go back to a bare front. I'm actually glad to see they're moving the ball pretty well, on the ground especially. He's just doing his thing. We may have to run some clock today when we get on offense. From the 11 yard line, it's second and two. They shift on their defensive front. Everson, back to throw. Intercept that. Oh, wow, good catch. First down. And we got a player hurt. That ain't good. Didn't even see how he injured it. Sometimes those small injuries turn into seizing ending ones. And just back to one high. They're in the red zone. The Bobcats go with the I formation. Not a big fan of that look. Let's do that. First down, touchdown. Well, that was an easy drive for them. They just went right down the field and ran it down the throats. That guy's going to touch the ball another 30 more times today. So we may have to just run a lot of clock to keep the ball away from them. If we can't stop it, that's the only defense I can think of to negate some of that, unless we just start making plays on defense. Every pass play, they made a great play out of it, a jump ball situation. So kudos to them. They just made that look easy. Uh, we will return this. Oh, that's an awesome look right there. Just don't fumble it. We are kind of on the left hash. We'll do our tight end slot there. Let's do a cruel halfback swing. We're going zone, and Nixon's out for a quarter. I'm going to leave the protection as is. Looks to pass. Look. This ain't good. This ain't good. My wide receiver got stuck on this guy. Forced this guy to cover both of them real easily. But nobody else was open. So I had no choice. What a special season for this Second and eight. Absolutely. This guy has now thrown for more yardage this year than Let's go deep comeback. We're going man now. I actually added my audibles this time. And it just shows you what I am going to. Right guy gets a chance to play in the right system. What an we're gonna go to this play right here. He drops back. He unloads it. Let's go to our halfback. Pick up the yardage there. How about that pass, fellas? Well, Brad, the Good little play. Uh, let's do counter. Man, nickel. Get 
than his quarterback. Otherwise, he'll make mm, it pay. We'll go to the left. I'm not ready to run clock just yet. That's good defense. They just shut that down. The defense just blew that one up in the backfield. Just nowhere to run on that play, coach. The halfback had no. Let's do a toss play. Second down and ten to go. We may have to do a third along here. If this play don't go. Marks lines up with three receivers on his left. Wow! Just destroyed. Jump the snap, destroyed my guard or my right tackle. Gave me no chance. So we're on the right hash, third and 16. So every bit of the momentum is in their favor. They're going man. They're bringing both inside guys. So this may be going to Williams on the far right. Make a play, Williams. Six points. We'll take it. All right, bring... That should be an offsides. I think I got him early. We will decline that. Now that, there we go. Yeah. That momentum shifted all the way back to neutral. We can go back and look at this. I saw both nickelbacks uh, sliding their feet while they was playing man. So I told them they was going to blitz or do something. Looks like they went in a spy look. But that brought both safeties up. So that gave me all the reason in the world to just go to Williams for touchdown that's a big play right there i'm starting to get you know if they would have made a stop right there things could have got real dicey ended up being a perfect throw but we got a great quarterback impact guy who can make throws stuff to beat all right we'll get back on defense i don't know what to do about it other than to keep putting eight guys in the box and hoping for the best This should be a great kick. Yeah, right where we want it. Just away from their receiver. Good stop there. So their last drive resulted in six points. Do you think we'll see the same result on this one? They ran the ball. We'll go back to a one high. They are going with the halfback look. Ah, uh, jeez. Ah, uh, good play. I mean, I'm glad we got the stop. That was real smart of them. I thought I went straight for the quarterback. You see me over here. I knew they was going to go for that quarterback pass play. But they went over the top instead. That's smart by the halfback. Uh, and you can go back and look and notice how I realized that when you do this. Notice if anybody is covering the quarterback. If they're covering the quarterback, that means that's what they're calling a quarterback look there. Uh-oh. Almost get the first down out of it. Third and one. We'll go back to the bear front because that's where our best talent is at. The Bobcats go with the I formation. If I was them, I'd just run to the right. Play action. Oh, wow. Tight end. They're just making plays in the passing game. And every one of them is against man, but that's... I don't know what to do about that. I mean, I can do some quarters, but I don't know how well we'll be able to stop the run. All right, end of the quarter. We're tied. We're having a good ball game so far. Pretty entertaining. I'm going to go back to quarters and see how they react to it. Come back. I don't like that. So we got eight guys in the box. Gets a few yards there. Uh, let's do an under front, and let's go... Back to quarters. They line up at the 47. On the 47 down. We're going to flip that. No, I want to do... Yeah, that's what I want. I want that right there. Again with a carry. Good stop. So it's third and three-ish. If I was them, I would still run it. Third and five. Uh, we may... Hmm, they're doing that. I'm going to take another chance. We're going to go with the bear... I think they're going to run it. But if they throw it, then they'll probably make a play out of it because our man defense is, is not having a... Ah, great play. Now, they'll probably go for this. I hope they don't. 
And they're going to go for it. Um, let's do Thunder Green. We're going to bring everybody. And it's the offense that takes the field on fourth down. Dang it. I think he got it. What do you do? They're just running it. You know, run, 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 run. I'm going to go back to quarters. I don't know if it's going to help or not, but... Come back. I don't like the way that looked. Counter. Good stop there. Good cut up by the halfback, though. Second and seven. We'll just stay in the same play. And seven. The problem is we keep getting them in a third and short. And that's just enough reason for them just to stay with a run play. Great stop, pal. Yeah. Got him in a third and long, finally. So, they're only going too wide. Let's do... Let's do cover three. Look at how I'm gonna go after they this guy if I can. As an offense, you've been pretty successful if you can even sniff the end zone against these guys. Whoa, they're one of the I'm assuming they're gonna pass. Look at those numbers. And I pressed the wrong button. Dang it. We still stopped him, but I think they're gonna go for it. Oh, they're gonna go for a field goal. Yes. By all means you can have it. That's a huge stop for us. Trying to take the lead by a field goal. And he made it pretty easily. That's fine. You can have it. All right, let's get the ball. Like I said, this game is going by pretty quickly because they're running the ball so much, keeping it inbounds. I'm going to leave the camera as is and see if we get lucky. Go here. Great run by Robinson. Good little play. Number 39. Um, let's try split in drag. They're going man. We'll do our protection to the right. To the, that's intercepted. Just a terrible throw. It wasn't a very good throw, and the defender got in front of it. That's why I like go routes better than z post for cover zero beaters. I probably should have went to this guy right here. That's my fault. No, he went with the flag route. Never mind. Either way, he just got in front of it. What a play. Just leaped up and well, it off. that was not good. He timed that perfectly and got the pick. Just a bad play. Now we got to make up for that somehow. Right now, their defense is doing whatever they want to against our offense. We've only had one good play on offense so far. That's a good cut by the halfback. Second and five. Still a one high. We need a break of some sort. Ohio comes to the line, only one man in the backfield. McCray off the left side. Look at that strike. And you know, there's nothing you can do about that. He's just going to make his plays. He's already got 17 attempts. Like, that's all they're going to do today is just give him the ball. I wanted to, you know, if you, is he, if anybody remembers my two game army dynasty that I had years ago, this was an offense I was going to do. I thought people would get bored by it, just me running and you know, giving it to my half, halfback every play. We'll take a timeout. I just didn't know if anybody would have enjoyed that. But this is that is this is the offense I was going to run. Just give him the ball, just hand it off. Real power run, like a Wisconsin type of offense. But like I said, I just didn't know if everybody would get bored from it. Third and five. Uh, I am going to do a zone blitz. I'm going to just take a chance here. I, I'm hoping they're going to throw first and foremost, but I'm going to see if I can go after this guy. Oh, we stopped him, but I think they're going to go for it. Let's see what they... We're going to punt it. 
They're going to punt it, but I'm going to call a timeout, and I hope that doesn't fall. Okay, good deal. I'm going to do an all-out block. Please do not fake it. <laughs> I would do the punt safe return, but I think they're kind of glitchy. Good for doing that. That's a huge stop right there. So we got a minute 15. I don't know if we can get down the field quick enough to make a play. Oh, look at this punt. Ooh, just enough. On the 20. We'll go curl halfback swing. We're going man. I don't know who's on who. They're bringing everybody. Let's go tight end. I dropped it. Ah, jeez. What do you do about that? I'm going to call the same play. We're going to do the exact same thing. Where's my matchup? I, it's about even on the wide receivers. Going one high here. Surveys the field. I, I threw that a little too late. I think it's all right. So it's third and ten. Um, let them know you're there, and then wow, put your pads on them. That's the way you make it hard to catch the ball. I will say that I agree. This is interesting. I don't know. We're gonna go back to split and drag. They're going man. It's third down. Middle Tennessee State changing their play. Yes, I done a smart route right there on purpose. Dang it. Oh, he caught it. Oh, my gosh. We may score a touchdown. <laughs> oh, how lucky can he get? I thought that was going to get picked off. Oh, what a goofy play that was. Longest pass. He broke his own record. We'll take it. We got very fortunate on that one. And he's going to get flagged for the celebration. Just a crazy play. I threw that way too late. Let's go back and look at this. They're going to flag the celebration there. Which is fine. Oh, gosh, what a goofy play that was. I want to go back and look. So, I needed the 10 yards. I wanted something a little bit more definite. So, I I hot routed this guy right here. Right, let me turn on my little thing here. I hot routed this guy to a go. We needed like 15 yards here or whatever it was. I done a smart route to make sure he got to the first down marker. And all that is, it is the auto or the hot wrap button then you you select your player then you hit the right joystick down that'll give you the first down marker and they went with a one high so this knocked this guy out off a go route so this is the only guy i really feel comfortable going to and the problem is they went with a triple spy look with their linebacker so i thought this was gonna get picked off the timing was actually pretty good on it i thought i threw that too late but he jumped in front of it. How lucky can he get right there? And then it's off to the race. So thankfully that safety didn't uh, play that ball well. Oh my gosh. Big play. <laughs> That's the first time I've got to use a smart route. They're nice and handy. And the curl route was, thankfully they went man. Otherwise we would have had some issues. I think I would have had to, uh, had to go to the post. Less than a minute remains in the second quarter. Oh, wow. What a play. All right. They got 51 seconds left. I don't know if they'll just try to run out the clock or do something with it. Their passing game isn't the strongest. I don't know if they're good enough to just go right down the field and try to score. We're about to find out. Because of that, I'll just stay in quarters. as That way we can cover a little bit of everything. But they were unable to move it. My guess is they'll probably just run the ball. And that's what they're going to do. That's a good cut by the halfback. One more broken tackle. That could have been interesting. So they called the timeout. So we're going to go defense, defensive line. I'm going to do another zone blitz. If I was them, I'd start passing a little bit. But they may not do that. They may just run it. Easy call here. Give it to the playmaker at running back. Oh, play action. Great call. He's got the fullback. I think they're going to give him the first. Let's see who is where. They shift on the defensive line. He throws it. It's complete. Thankfully, the pressure forced him to a bad throw. Second and 11. 
They're staying in a big set, so I'll do the same. We'll stay in our 4-3. Ah, great play. Wow, what a play by their quarterback. You rarely see a tight end or anybody get, against quarters to see it up, get open against the on the hash mark. That's a tough throw. That's that's a rarity. Woo! Shoestring tackle. So they're going to keep doing hurry up. Uh oh! Wow, what a play! Jeez, four three seconds. Wow, their quarterback's nine for nine. Good to see the quarterback do something in this game. I've been worried the death about the CPU quarterback just not doing anything, and he's killing it. So they're gonna kick a field goal. We'll do the same. We'll do an all-out block if I can find it. Have a look at our old wow. Red zone That's awesome. That's encouraging. That, I've really started to worry about that, that the CPU just can't do much offensively, especially the quarterback. And I ran it to the kicker. Dang it. I wonder how that's going to affect things. They may just go for it. I should have went safe man. I need to call that every time. They're going to accept the kick. Okay. I'll do field goal safe man going forward on that situation. Because how many times have we seen that this year? So we're up a point. Wow, this has been a great game so far. Very entertaining. And Suber back deep to return. Here's the kick. Robinson. I'm just going to get down. I'm not going to have him get fumble. You know, get hit with a fumble. All right. End of the half. Let's check out some stats. We played a half of football here. We'll go to stats and scores. So both teams offensively are doing a really good job. We're not running the ball to save our lives right now. It's just our offense, we've been on the field a total of nine plays and have 165 or 159 yards. But they're running the ball exceptionally well. They got over 100 yards there. But it's their quarterback who's playing great. We're doing good. Uh, both teams are playing pretty clean. I had that one turnover, the interception on that post round. I want to go... Look at the individual stats. Look at that. Their quarterback is 9 for 9 so far. 112 yards. Just playing perfect football. And what we saw before in the stat line, he had like 20 touchdowns and 19 interceptions coming into this game. But today he's playing like, you know, John Elway. I don't know what the deal is, but he's playing great. Okay. At least we get the ball in the start of the third quarter. We'd love to get right down the field and score. I want to establish the run if I can. Decent kick. We may have a chance here. Robinson fields at the goal line. Oh wow, he somehow squeezed through that. Another good run. The 34. Now I got a backup half uh, fullback, so I don't know if my run plays from our 20 personnel or our fullback plays, fullback formations, I should say, is going to work as well. It's not really sure. We're going to run to our left. They try to get a head start there. I think somebody moved. False start. You don't see that too often. That didn't help. Now it's first and 15. Well, that knocks me out of that. It's one of the run of the ball. Let's do deep comeback. I'm going to see if I can hit this comeback for a decent gain. Hopefully he'll be open. Mark drops the throw. Looking. Let's it fly. Good first down right there. All right. First and 10. I love being able to hit that short side, boundary side zone area. That never gets old. All right, let's run the ball. Going man. Both quarterbacks are playing pretty good outside that one turnover I had. The Blue Raiders line up in an eye formation. Ah, not a good block there. That's good defense. We'll have to go back to the passing game. Uh, let's go back to curls. We're going man. Uh, 
changing things up. Yeah, I'm changing things up a little bit. Yeah, they're doing that. Interesting. They're bringing everybody. Go, tiny in. Redeem yourself. There you go. Good deal. They're bringing the heat. They're bringing a lot of cover zero coverages. So I have to adapt to that. Let's go twins flex. And I want to do counter weak. It's on my mind for whatever reason. We're going to go. They're going man. I like. I'm okay with that shift. I'm not going to shift anybody. Let's just go here. Adds. I couldn't cut up in time. Good play by the defense. Second and ten. So they're shutting down my run game. Let's just go tight end corner. They're going zone. I'm going to leave the protection as he is. Drops back to pass. Marks. Rifles at left. Wow, we got a touchdown out of that. I'll be, I was not expecting that. I thought he was going to get caught as soon as he made the catch. So, that's an offensive lineman who got hurt there. Let's see if they show us an instant replay. Nope, they're not going to. Let's look, over, let's look back at this play. They went zone, only got one zone beater I'm going to go to, and that's the Williams on the left. But the corner done a great job just sitting right there waiting on it. But I was able to get it off just in time, and somehow I was able to cut up field. And he got in just barely. Good deal. So let's kick an extra point. Big extra point here. It'll put him up by two score. Try to go up eight. And he converts the extra point. So I need to start using that field goal safe man for every extra point, every field goal, unless I'm gonna try to block it, of course, but uh, but for extra points especially, I need to be wary of that. Hopefully that goes on that side. Good deal. That's a good kick. Alright, let's play some defense. Uh, they're doing that. Let's just do a one high for now. Just keep giving it to your best player. I don't know why I went to an over front there. I didn't have to. That's a good stop, though. Uh, let's do quarters. We're going to do that. Fullback dive. Ah, good cut. First down. Somehow he squeezed through there. Really shifty. Not there. Now let's stay with quarters. First and ten. Ball on the 33 yard line. Ohio comes out with an eye formation. Looks like they're going out of eye twins flex. McCray will run it again. He's tough. Robinson. He's patient. Just waiting for something to open up. So second and inches. They're going. Uh, I'm gonna take a chance and say they're going to throw the ball. I'm just going to do a zone blitz and see what happens. Ooh, I'm not a big fan of this. If I was them, I'd just run to the left. Going QB. I, I was right. They, th they threw the ball, but they still got the first. Ten consecutive completions. Good for him. I'm actually happy about that. Uh, let's go back to a one high. We need somebody to make a play out there. Not a big fan of that strong safety on the halfback. Oh, finally. Good play. First incompletion of the game. Uh, let's do quarters. We'll do her over front. Looks like we're going to go over here instead. Good stop. So it's now third and five. Third and seven. We're going to do cover three. I'm going to control an off a defensive end. We'll see if we can get after this guy. I'm assuming they're going to throw. 
Nope, they are going to run the ball. Big stop. They're going to punt it. That's a huge play right there. We can somehow get back on offense, score a touchdown, then we'll be cooking with gas. Just don't run into the punter. We'll fair catch that. Everybody get out of the way. Oh, my gosh. Look at this. No, get out of the way. Somebody came through. This is what scares me about this. They still can't really figure this out in this game. Somebody decided to come through and try to pick it up. Both two guys did. Ah, dang it. I don't know what to do about that. We're on the nine-yard line, though. That's good. Uh, let's do some more power running. Let's go counter trap. Our run game has been non-existent today, but I don't want to give up on it yet. That shift isn't very helpful. What happens if I bring this guy over? Does it help any? I'm going to worry if we're going to go up against that impact player. I, they're going zone. You have to cut up whenever you can, and it's obvious we had to do it right there. Almost get the first down. We did get the first down. That's good. Let's go. Let's give it a super. Let's do our fullback over. Let's see if we can get our backup halfback going. They are going man. They're going with an under front. Ooh, I don't know if that helped or hurt, but we're about to find out. Go Suber, go Suber! Great little run. We are on the right hash. Let's go. Where's it at? I'm looking for it. X, no, not X post. Oh, where's it at? They don't... I thought I had flanker curl in here. There it is. Got it out of week normal. Here's a look at the We're going zone. Statistic brought to you by Coca -Cola. This will go to our tight end or to our halfback, more than likely. He drops back. Surveys the field. Just go to him. Ah, just gonna break the tackle. Get a few yards there. Pick up four. It was, but you know what? As long as they've got those guys I have another play in mind. We're going to go curl flat. Going zone here. Probably go to our halfback or to Henry. We'll adjust to that shift. Just get the first. Both quarterbacks are playing extremely good football right now. I'm telling you, this thing is Coming out of his hand. Boy, you're right. What a cannon this young man. Let's try to toss again. First, first and ten. Ball Maybe we can get something happen on the left. Oh. And we got another player with a false start. I didn't even do anything. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna take a chance. We're gonna still call the same thing. They're going zone. We're going to go to our right. If we can get some decent block in here, that'd be great. Good block right there. Get some yards back. Second and eight. Uh, let's go back to curl flats. We're going man. We'll try to go to one of our curls. More than likely. I want to heart rider tight end, though. Audible to something else. Oh, they're bringing both safeties again. He short-armed it. Ah, not a very good throw. It's third and eight. We're on the 48. Oh, man. Um, this is two-down territory for me. I am just going to go... Hiding corner. I have her going zone. We'll probably stick with it. It's wide open. Good deal. Get the first anyways. We got him the jump off sides. So even if he didn't... We're going to decline that. Pick up the first down. Thankfully, they blitzed off this side. Like, there's nobody over there. So that was just a good play call. A lucky play call on my part. So he is wide open. So we got the first down. Let's go. 
Let's do counter. We're going to do a hard counter from week normal. I wonder what happens. Ew, I guess we're going to go to our ride instead. We're going to do... Nope, we're going to do this instead. That's weird. Everybody and their brother's moving around. I don't know what to do here. And that didn't help things. I got to make the call, though. We got to go with it. Ah, dang it. Nobody picked up the impact guy. I was hoping my guard... I should have probably went vertical and hopefully pick him up. I think he was just too fast for my lineman. A couple, maybe three so it's second and seven. Uh, let's go. We may have to do split in drag again if I can't find something I like. Let's just do split in drag. The goal ma man. Now, last time we threw an interception here. What I may end up doing is doing that instead. We're gonna go one high though. She couldn't get up field, so it's what third and something. Third and two. I am going to run basic slam here because it's two down territory. If we don't get this, I'll go for it, which may be a dumb idea, but I think we can get the basic first down. There was some movement on the line. Dang it! Another one. <laughs> now we're getting the exact opposite. We got 1,800 false starts. Uh, third and seven. Uh, let's go curl flat. Hopefully we can hit one of these curls for our first down. Good throw. First down. Uh, let's think about running the clock a little bit. Let's stay in this formation. I want to run dive. Go zone. We're going zone. Maybe I can find a crease up the middle somewhere. We'll go to our right. Let's run some clock. I think that's a good idea. Get it down to a couple seconds. Don't, do not use the speed button. Just find a hole and get up through it. Impact guy on impact guy. We won that battle. We're on the 12. Uh, the, uh, let's try. Let's go back to fullback over. It's on my mind for whatever reason. So we're going to call it. I am going to leave it as is. I'm afraid if I move Ingram over, they may shift over to that side, which I'm glad they do that. That's something you can't just fully exploit like you could like an 06. Sometimes they shift, sometimes they don't. Ah. Fumble, fumble, fumble. Turnovers. My, ta my tight end got destroyed, which messed up the entire play. And at this point, he just fumbles it right there. And I can't challenge the play, but I'm pretty sure he fumbled it. I forgot that you can challenge, but I, I'm pretty sure he fumbled it. So let's go do a one high. That's a big play right there for them. The D line shifts over. Wow, just bust through that pickup seven yards. Six yards. I'm going to do another one high. Man, that was a big play for them. Good play call, Al. Bring that safety blitz. Third and nine. Good to see Nixon back. My head injury. We're going to do cover three. We're going to give her four three a break. We'll go to nickel. They come out in a nickel. I'm going to try to go after this guy. Back to pass. Oh, he ran right into him, and he still got out of it. Oh, my gosh, what a play. Gee whiz. Incredible play by the quarterback. I'm actually impressed. Broke the tackle, and he is off to the races and somehow just gets the first down out of it. Wow. This kid's playing, like, otherworldly right now. Ah, jeez. 
Back to one high we go. The offensive production statistics brought to you by Coca-Cola. They shift on the defensive line. Everson drops back to pass. Wide open. Outside. Thankfully, he went out of bounds. He had him be big time. What route did he run? He ran a whip route, but destroyed my impact corner. Like, it wasn't even close. Sometimes the defender can get right up on it. So that whip route is not as guaranteed as it used to be. But sometimes you get plays like that where it's just so wide open. Interesting. Uh, okay, let's do quarters. It's second down. Everson, back in the gun. Ah, oh, come on. Had to go all the way across the field to make the tackle. Oh, geez. Guess we'll go back to one high again. Here's the offensive production statistics sponsored by Coca Cola. The Bobcats line up in an I formation. McCray takes a handoff. He's just making his plays. I don't know. Nice job by the running back. I knew he'd get at least 30 touches today. That's one thing with these games. The uh, the CPU really beats the impact players to death. Like, they really make sure they try to get the ball. Play action. Wide open. Dang it. Huge play. That is my fault. I should have been right there. They're just making plays. I don't know what to tell you. That was my fault. I moved all the way over to the play action side, the boot side. We'll go back to quarters. Hi, dang it. I can play lift on that. He just blew right by me. Man, that's my fault. I'm hurting us. I'm, I'm, I'm losing the game for us. I wish that safety would come down to the slot, but he's not going to. And that's a touchdown. Wow. Wow, huge play. And they're fixing to tie this thing up. Um, we're going to go with a man. I, I don't know what to call here, to be honest. Dang it. Oh, we stopped him. Oh, wow. Huge play. Huge. What a play. They went through their fullback, which surprised me. We somehow stopped them. Now, I think they're going to do an onside kick, and they are. This worries me. Somebody make a play here. Huge. Oh, thank the Lord that was a terrible kick. All right, minute 58. This is where things get interesting. This has been by far the most entertaining game of the season. I mean, the Louisville game is entertaining. Tennessee game is entertaining. But this one's incredible. What a fun game this has been. Middle Tennessee State sets up in the eye. We're going to go to the left. Hands it off straight ahead. I'm going to keep giving him the ball if possible. Ohio. Pick up four. We're going to go offensive line. We'll just stay in this formation. Let's try to toss. From the 35 yard line. It's if we can somehow get a field goal, that'd get us up five. Did I get them off in time? Get a block right there. Huge play. Go. Just don't fumble it. We're going to decline it. We did get him off sides. Make up for all those false starts we've had today. We decline it. Huge play right there. Good blocking. Backup fullback could have had a good block right there. We're going to go offensive line again. I'm just going to stay here, and we are going to go slam. The pressure turns up They're going, ooh, I'm okay with that. We'll run the ball, definitely, up the gut, if we can. Oh, hmm. I'll probably go, to, we'll stay, we'll go to the left. Did I get him off the time? Did I get him off sides? Nope, he got back. Well, we got a great first down, though. Good little run right here. It's all a huge hole right there, so it made sense to go up the A-gap. Try to get around the lineman right there. Big play, so we're on the three. Uh, let's go. 
Let's do counter. First and goal. Ball They're inside the 20. The clock is running. Let's see if they can punch this one in. I may bring this guy over. Ah, I should have cut up. Let's see what happened here. I should have cut up. I should have cut. Well, I guess I didn't have much choice. That's a good play by the corner. On the five. Uh, eh, dang it, I can't get to it. Let's do counter. I think they'll still go goal line on us. They're going zone here. They really earned it out there today. The Blue Raiders line up in an I formation. I'll still probably call the play. Oh. They're calling a timeout with 51 seconds to go. Let's go. The best decision for us is I'm going to do a toss to the right. This gets us in the middle of the field, so my kick will be easier in case we got to kick a field goal. With trips left. We're going to bring that guy over. Gonna pitch it. Get past the That's why I've done that. Gets us right in the middle of the field, so we should have an easy field goal. And we're going to kick a field goal. That's going to get us up five. The problem is that gives them about 20 seconds to do something. And you can't fake snap it here. <laughs> it won't let you. Just get it down to a couple of seconds. I actually just may take a delay game. Let's take a delay game. It helps. It gets another second off the clock. I think that's a wise decision. Gets us down to 19 seconds. I am going to uh, we'll kick a field goal. I'm going to kick this kind of high. I may take off another second. Barely, maybe. Like, we'll go right here, and I'm going to kick this, like, really high. Hopefully that'll help a little bit. It's up. And it's the that took off two seconds. That may have helped shave off one second. I'm not really sure. So they got 17 seconds to go. We'll do a, a basic kick, make them go all the way across the field or down the field. We'll go over here. Should be a really good kick. He kicks it off. Parsons fields at the goal line. Okay. So what do you think 14 this seconds. This is obviously a big possession. They we'll go quarters. Right this this could be really hard for them to get down the field and, and try to get in. Uh, they got to get a touchdown in order to win this thing. Everson steps back to pass. He's looking. And a sack. Big play. And they're out of timeouts. That's game right there. They're not even going to be able to get it off. Game over. Game over. Wow, what a great game that was. I hope you enjoyed that as much as I did. That was a lot of fun. Wow, great game. So entertaining. That gave me hope that, you know, the opposing team could do something offensively. Their quarterback played as good as you possibly could ask for. Wow, that was a lot of fun. We'll check out some stats. Let's check out some stats, and that got us to the number three greatest of all time. Just an even offensively, both teams done their thing. They ended up going 13 of 15. We went 12 of 16, but they ran the ball so well. I mean, their running back had probably almost 200 yards. Uh, big thing here, we converted on third down. That helped. For us to win that game and have two turnovers says a lot. Uh, let's keep going here. Penalties all went against, or they went in our favor? I thought they had a couple off. No, we declined a bunch. That's what it was. Otherwise, those would show up. We had to decline a lot of them because we got more yards than that penalty. But we had a lot of false starts and such. That's rare to see that. Individual stats, like I said, their quarterback went 13 of 14. He had to play a game like that in order to give them a chance today. 
But it's this guy right here who done everything for him. 168 yards, 31 attempts. I actually thought we'd done halfway decent, to be honest. But he, I mean, he played his part for sure. Uh, let's go back and look at us. Uh, Marks, 12 of 16, 274 yards, three touchdowns, the one pick. Running the ball. We struggled today. Uh, but we done enough just to keep it going. But it was the passing game that really helped. Uh, we had five different guys touch the ball, and everybody done a little bit of something. Williams got a couple touchdowns. Henry with one. Uh, Jacola had two deep balls. I think that's what those two are right there. And defensively, uh, Samp had one sack. A few guys had a tackle for loss. Otherwise, it was Rainey and Nixon who done everything for us today. Okay, so the next video will be the uh, off-season. Should be a lot of fun. This will be my first off-season in 07 and forever. I mean, like, many years. We won the Motor City Bowl. And I don't want to do that yet. Uh, what we will do is we will simulate. At the beginning of the next video, we'll simulate up to the very end. We'll see if we get a contract extension, stuff like that. We'll look at our roster, then we'll head into the offseason. So come on back. We'll do some crouton, and I will talk to you later.